For this week's video, we're going to look at a straight pull rifle out of Austria. This is the TAR from Strasser Weapons Factory and is currently chambered for 7mm Rem Mag, but that can change pretty quickly. As this gun is part of the RS-14 Evolution family of straight pull rifles, it can be set up to accommodate 21 different cartridges between short and long actions. All tools are located on board the rifle and conversion or disassembly can be counted in seconds. So let's dive right in so you can see the real beauty of this rifle system. Remember to ensure the rifle is unloaded, which we've already done. So remove the magazine and then we'll need to go ahead and withdraw the bolt. At this point it's locked in place, but don't fret. To unlock it from battery, you must depress a silver button within the center of the bolt mounted safety. And once the button is depressed, the bolt handle will articulate about 45 degrees rearward to its unlock position. Now the bolt can be slid rearward. You'll need to depress the bolt release on the left side of the receiver to fully withdraw. As you can see, there's quite a mechanism. The safety at the rear moves up to its fire position and down for safe. A red cocked bolt indicator appears at the top of the bolt when ready to fire. So let's check out the other end of the bolt. Strasser calls this the radial element bolt. We've all been used to seeing bolt heads with traditional locking lugs, and this has them too, but they're hidden. When the bolt handle articulates forward as a cartridge goes into battery, the lugs deploy into a receiver extension. You'll see too that Strasser makes use of a plunger ejector and a sliding plate extractor. So now that we've removed the bolt, we can access the trigger release lever on the receiver's tang. Press it rearward and the trigger group drops free from the rifle. So now that we have access to the trigger, I'll mention that there are three preset trigger pulls to choose from. To adjust, simply slide up on the ferrule below the trigger spring and move it rearward for its heaviest pull, or into the forward notch for a lighter pull and so forth. It is also a set trigger for those who cherish ultralight pull weights. To set, simply push forward on the trigger shoe and voila. At the front of the trigger assembly, you'll notice a four millimeter Allen wrench held in place by its blue clip. This tool will be used to remove the forend by loosening a retaining tab attached to the receiver. Give it about two turns and then slide the forend forward and off the rifle. Inside the forend, you'll find yet another tool stored here. We'll need to remove the barrel by inserting the tool into the barrel takedown lever on the gun's left side. Rotate the lever 90 degrees and the barrel is free to withdraw from the receiver. Strasser calls this the best barrel exchange system and claims the design is patented. Now that we have it back together and in shooting condition, let's take a look at a few features that round out the tar. The stock is made of a gray wood laminate, which enhances the rifle's durability. At the forend and wrist are inset areas of weave texturing for positive purchase. And both left and right sides of the wrist contain a palm swell. The rear of the stock contains three QD sling cups, and this one came out with a narrow, more European sized set of sling mounts. The front sling mount nests within the tip of the forearm. The comb is adjustable for users who wish to raise their natural point of aim when using optics. Atop the aluminum receiver is a section of Picatinny rail integral to the receiver for mounting optics. Most of these RS-14 rifles do come with a set of backup iron sights mounted to the barrel, but our example did not. And seeing that this is a Magnum variant, the barrel is 24 inches. Also, its chambering only allows for two rounds in the magazine. If you're in the market for a dual rifle and have been interested in the straight pull design, give Strasser a look by going to internationalfirearmcorporation.com. Remember to keep your browser open to AmericanRifleman.org for the latest in firearms and shooting content.